Mike, thanks for joining me today. Again, as I mentioned, this is an absolutely gorgeous Class A. I love the colors in here. I love what you've done. Why don't you walk us through a little bit of the 3060? Thanks, Ian. Um, on the Georgetown 7 Series, so we, we kind of classify our motorhomes. We start with a 3 Series, then you go to the 5 Series. 7 Series is the top of the line motorhome for us. So you got so the whole lineup. The 36 D7 is unique to us. One, it's the highest end that we build. Number two, uh, this is a bath and a half model. It's our best seller. Okay. And, um, you know, starting the cockpit up here, we run with a large 10 inch display up here. We've got a power sunshade and a power visor up front. You know, when you're going down the road and the sun comes down, it'll come down as far as you want. Nice. Okay? Otherwise, when you get to your campsite, you can bring it all the way down. We've got a passenger workstation right here. Oh, okay. Look at that. Yep. Going down the road, you've got USB outlets, 110 hookups. Um, is that a dog window down there? Is that what that is? a little dog window, a little visibility window down here. Yeah, One I like that. One of the that. things we'll talk about on the outside of the coach that we pride ourselves is we have some of the smallest A-pillars up here. Okay. So we have phenomenal visibility from the cockpit. And, you know, you see these seats that we're in the cockpit. You know, we got six-way power seats, adjustable armrests. Um, it's very comfortable up here. One of the other things I noticed too, Mike, and you can see that your foot's on it right here, but I, I like this. That a lot of times these are carpeted, and they get dirty in a hurry, but this is tough. It's easy to clean. I like that you guys put that in there. So one of our pitches is, is there's absolutely no carpet in this coach. So you go through, you got a flush floor transition as well. So some of our competitors have steps to get up into the cockpit or they line this area with carpets. Yeah, it's very clean. And, and uh, there's actually a table that can go between the cockpit chairs as well. So nice little, little snacking area. Conversation table from when you're in the cockpit. Big visibility here as well Absolutely. on the dash. This is also going to be your backup monitor and your okay. side camera. So okay. the second you turn your turn signal on, you've got a really good shot down each side of the coach, depending on which turn signal's on, or when you go in reverse. And it's a one-way mic as well, so someone's telling okay. you to back up. Left you can right. actually hear them. Correct. And it is Bluetooth capable, I assume. Absolutely. Excellent. Wonderful. All right. Now, why don't you tell us what we, what we have above so us here, above Mike? us, you have a drop-down queen-size bed. So with the push of a button up here, okay, you'll undo this and your bed comes right down. So the advantage of this is we're going to turn the cockpit area into a sleeping area. And that drops down pretty quick too. Absolutely. Then comes with got, the mattress. You've got a ladder that's going to click onto this right here. Okay. Okay. And uh, now we just turn this into queen bed up over the cockpit. And I love that because that gives you the a little bit of additional sleeping because you know in its, in its essence this is more of a couple's model but if someone comes to visit you quickly have a spot for them to sleep. Well, the other thing with this is, is when you look at sleeping on the inside, you know, all right, we got 84 inch ceilings. You're going to have a little bit more room up here on this coach than some of my competitors. Plus yeah. we're going to put AC ducts up here. So when you are sleeping up here, you're going to get some cool air in the cockpit. Wonderful. So folks, again, this is the Georgetown 7 Series 36D. If you're interested, text Easy RV to 32094. Just put Easy RV in the comments section. Uh, why don't we take a look over at the kitchen because you have a beautiful kitchen here, Mike. You have solid uh, surface countertops. You have the apron front, stainless steel sink. I love the look you have going on. Thank you. So one of the things on this coach is we run all 90 sheen solid wood Amish cabinetry in here. Okay. Okay. So one of the things with our construction in here is you walk in, you see the shiny cabinets and everything. It's real mm -hmm. wood. It's easy to maintain, easy to wipe down. All right. Um, and each spot has a, a purpose. You know, right here, you're going to have your bunk switch. You got your precision plex circuits. They're going to be up here. I can control most of this coach from my smartphone. Very cool. I want cool. to run the awnings in and out. I want to run the slides in and out. I'm sitting on the sofa and want to dim the lights down. I can take care of all that from my smartphone. So it's all kind of integrated together. So as you walk in right here, you're going to have your 2000 watt inverter switch. And then you're also going to have the face plates right here for the precision plex. So easily access. Very when cool. You, when you come into the kitchen galley area, you're right. We run a stainless steel undermount um, farm sink right here. You've got a nice stainless uh, kitchen faucet. You get into the Furion appliance package right here where we've got a larger oven than most of our competitors. You know, we run soft closed drawer guides in here. Something you don't see in some of the, uh, the units we compete against. Yeah, I, I really like the soft close. Again, it's one of those, those small features that when you put it in, I think it really makes a big difference in the, the kitchen and galley area. Uh, and folks, just so you know, this beautiful Georgetown 7 36D, you're probably thinking, Ian, what is the price? I love it. I want it. No problem. I'm here to help you out, folks. For the show, we have this one starting at $159,999. So it is under $160,000. Folks, that, that starts at $954 a month. 
So you want to talk about a good deal, get into a beautiful Class A, that is an excellent deal for the show. And you're going to want to take advantage of that. Simply text EZRV to 32094. You can take advantage of that pricing, and we will be able to take care of everything right over the phone, have your unit delivered right to you. So folks, you can order it and have it ordered today. And Mike, speaking of ordering, that is something too that with, with this uh, industry, the way it's in right now, if you order this, correct me if I'm wrong, but that will put you kind of above the stock inventory, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if, if, you're wanting, if you're wanting to get out next season with the way the industry is right now, probably a pretty good idea to get your name on that list. Yeah, get your orders in. That's you know, to right. To finish up the kitchen, you talked about you know, sleeping extra people. The nice thing about this is we run a large residential style refrigerator in here. All right. And you've got a French door refrigerator, water and ice in the door. Okay. And this is also able to be powered by the inverter that's on board. So okay. Okay. Dry that camping. 2000 watt inverter we talked about. Absolutely. Awesome. So. And and you have uh, auto gen set on here too, so that you know if voltage gets too low, or if it, you know you have uh, your pets in here mm -hmm. and you need to kick the AC on, it'll automatically do it for you. You're camping in the desert in the summer and it starts to heat up inside the coach. You know it's going to say, hey, I got a call for for air conditioning. It'll start the generator up, start airs up, cool it down manage that and vice versa with heat. Love it. Things. Love it. All right, Mike, let's flip over. Let's talk about the furniture real quick here. This is, again, gorgeous, plush, plenty of uh, space for cups and plug-ins, everything you need. So one of the things on our sofas, we spend a lot more money. You know, motorhome furniture is a little different than some of the travel trailers and the fifth wheels because we mm -hmm. have seatbelts. Yeah. And yep. so the other thing is, is you've got at this sofa, you've got ratcheting headrest, you know, so when I recline okay. all the way back, I'm not staring at the ceilings. I like that. You've got power underneath as far as lighting for at night. So if you've got the lights dimmed down, you got easy walk here, you got, you know, power recliners all the way up and back. It's got massage features. It's got heat features. There you go. USB everything. 110 cup holders, and I'm staring right at the television right here. So yep. this is a very comfortable coach. You got the fireplace down below. Get stay nice and toasty between the between the heated seats and the uh, fireplace. Absolutely. Yeah, stay nice and toasty on those cold nights. Now the other thing in this coach, like I said up front, is this is also our bath and a half. So the neat okay. thing about it is, is we've got a half bath here, uh, midship. If you want to go ahead and, and take a look in there. So the neat thing about this is it's actually deeper than what it appears to be. So as you go in, the one thing to point out in there is the sinks. We do a solid surface sink, but the sink bowls are integrated into the countertops themselves. It's not actually like a stainless bowl or a plastic bowl that sits on there. Okay. And then you got a really nice brushed, uh, brushed nickel faucet. So yeah. In the bathroom. So trying to give you some higher end appointments in there. And, and like you said, there's, there's quite a bit of room for being a, a side aisle half bath. Like it's pretty spacious in there. That's nice. Speaking of space, when you come into here, we've also got a huge, like a storage locker oh, or a man. pantry area Look right here. And these are also self-closed. So spots to store all the, the cereal boxes or wine bottles or whatever you prefer to camp with. <laughs> Folks, you can get all that starting at $9.54 a month. Just text EZRV to 32094 or call 866-853-3510 or you can just comment EZRV in the comments section. So something back here, okay? Yes, You've got sir. a huge wardrobe, but a couple things happen back here. We've got a tilt bed. So okay. this is a 72 by 80 inch long. So um, a full 80 inch, I like that. It's a full 80 inch king size bed but okay. the nice thing about it is is it ratchets up one mm -hmm. for reclining if you want to watch television in here yep we've got you know you can flip up your television have storage you've got a wardrobe here a wardrobe here and you've also got a full stacked washer and dryer on board love so it the nice thing about this is you do all your laundry right here in the bedroom yeah and i love that it's a stackable and not just a single unit you know when you're talking about doing laundry uh, sometimes those single units can take a little bit longer. The stackable is nice and quick. When you come in towards the back of this coach, what's neat is I run the same integrated sink bowl. So I got Jack and Jill sinks. Mm -hmm. We run a molded one-piece fiberglass shower. So it's a larger shower with a glass shower door. So the nice thing about that is it's it's very easy to maneuver in this bathroom, number one, because it's it's very large compared to some of my competitors. Yeah, and and I, you know, Mike, I like the faucets on here too. You kind of have like a like a waterfall style faucet there. That's uh, it's elegant. It's beautiful. Nice storage in here. Yeah. Got the, the vent fan up top. Now, does this have a rain sensor on it as well? It does. Okay. Yeah. So, that, and you know, and I love the, the overall space you have here. And like I say, just the, the feel, you can feel how, how plush it is. Uh, you get the bath and a half floor plan, Mike. And, um, you know, just uh, again, it's, I, I like the colors that you've chosen. You have a good contrast between the light and the dark. And folks, you're going to want to be able to jump on this one. 
We have the amazing pricing here at the show. As I mentioned, it's starting at $9.54 a month. To claim that, simply text EZRV to 32094 or call 866-853-3510. Or in the comments section, if you don't want to use your phone, it's not a problem either. Just type EZRV in the comments section and you'll be able to take advantage of the great pricing that we have here today. Mike, uh, last thing I want to hit on before we head out is the dinette. Why don't you talk to me a little bit about this? So we call this the comfort dinette. The neat thing about it is, is you can sit with your back against the wall and it's comfortable. You okay. Know, the other thing is we trim out all these windows in wood, but you know, it's a little bit oversized dinette. It's a solid surface table. All right. Yep. It's got what they call the dream dinette bracket. So with the push of a button, I can lower this down into a bed just like that. You know, you don't have pedestals and all this stuff to maneuver around. And now, do you have storage in it too? It looks like a little storage bit of storage under, there. Yeah, storage under both sides of this as well. Okay. Yeah. So sleeping space, storage space, and again, I like that it does wrap around because a lot of times it is comfortable to sit like that. Put your back there, especially if you have more people and you want to watch TV. Granted, you have a ton of theater seating, but maybe you're having a party, right? Well, and, you need and a couple more seats. To the people that are new on this, the one thing that's very unique about this floor plan is we run extra deep slide outs in this. So, okay. You know, as you see this all opened up and everything, it's functional. It's also functional with the slides in, but you know, we run a big dinette window. So when we're going down the road, you can see out here and we get windows in our slide room end walls. We do that because our slides are a little bit deeper. So I love that. Yeah. And, and it's a little bit more space on the inside. And it gives you, you know, a little bit of uh, additional airflow, you know, if you necessarily, you know, maybe it's not quite high or uh, hot enough outside to run the AC, open up a few windows, get some airflow going. Let me show you some stuff on the outside. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's one of the first things that struck me when we walked up to here is just the beautiful color scheme that you have. Um, I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So new for the GT7, we redesigned our front cap on this. And the okay. thing about kind of the front of our unit is you've got this big panoramic one-piece windshield. Mm -hmm. And these are all auto bonded or they're glued in like you have in a car. So you don't have the big rubber seals going all the way around them. Okay. You heard me talk about those A pillars on the inside. Okay. People see a, a class C motor home and they see that van style front end and they, you know, and they, this is the doors and the hood. And the nice thing about an A, well, this is a big steel structure up front. So, okay. you know, we've got a firewall extension, a big piece of steel that goes all the way up on this coach. All right. Okay, and you've got steel firewalls in, in here. We light the road up really, really well. We stack this with your fog lights on the bottom, daytime running lights. You got LED turn signals, LED marker lights up front. So, so it just um, feels safe. And you've got this giant LED strip. You know, one thing to note oh, yeah. is when you set up in your campsite, all right, and you flip on your LED, it's gonna light these little strips up up here. That's cool. Going down the road, when you use a turn signal, this actually lights up like a turn signal in Amazon. Oh, really? Stuff. So yeah, so it, it lights the road up really well. That's a pretty cool look, I like that. You know, you heard me talk about the side cameras on the inside. So yes, you've sir. got your side cameras located right here. Okay. All right, so you can see all the way down this side of the coach when you put your turn signal on. The GT7 is on the Ford's F53 chassis. The mm -hmm. F53 chassis is a gas class A chassis designed by Ford for the RV industry. Um, this one here is on the new V8 that they just okay. released this year. Yep. So the nice thing about this is it's got some suspension upgrades and horsepower and torque. And um, this also has the 22 and a half inch um, aluminum wheels and tires. That's so, huge. Um, that, that makes a big difference. I, I, front to back on this, one thing that we pride ourselves on is, you know, you see that big residential refrigerator and those big sofas. Yep. We're able to take all those in because we run a 30 inch wide entry door on this. So yeah. the neat thing about that is, is some of my competitors are, you know, not as wide as and, and you know, and you mentioned that, Mike, and, and that's a big thing, right? Because when you buy an RV, you know, you're going to have uh, some sort of maintenance eventually down the road. And having the forethought when you're manufacturing it to be able to get the refrigerator out the door for me is a big peace of mind because mm -hmm. not all, as much as I hate to say it, not all manufacturers do that. That's not always the case. So uh, very happy to hear that. So on the outside of this, I'm going to kind of go through these bays really quick and show you what they are. But we've got our outside entertainment center right here. My gen set that's right here is going to act as my media center. So that's my, okay. my audio. Um, I can hook up down here. You know, we've got HDMI, USB. So if we want to put the game station out here for the kids there and they go. want to plug in, we can hear the sound out here. We're tailgating at the football game. But the other thing to note on this is we run Suicide Swing bag oh, stores. Oh, look at that. So the neat thing about this is this is one big giant compartment right here where most of my competitors are just going to put multiple doors. And Oh, yeah. No, I, I love that. Right it gives here. me a place to be able to put my, uh, my cornhole set, you know? The other thing in here, if you look, the way we designed this coach is we run a macerator toilet midship. So okay. The advantage to that is I only have to run one set of holding tanks because remember I have two bathrooms. Yep. Some of some of the motorhomes that are out there are going to have two separate gray and black tanks. So okay. we run one set of tanks. So the advantage to that is it gives me storage axle to axle. So I have a ton of outside storage in this I coach see that. for a bath and a half. And, and I love it's the full size doors too. You know, a lot of times on your class A's, 
you know, you'll get a little bit smaller door size. I love that these are the full frame doors. You're just getting huge storage out here. So weights and balances are also very important. Yep. You know, as you come into this coach, um, in this bay right here, this is gonna be access to my fresh water tank, my water pump, my water filter. Um, yeah, the very easy access. Again, when we talk about maintenance, you know, if, if the water filter goes, or, or sorry, the, uh, the water pump, super easy to get to right there. Absolutely. I like that. Uh, folks, remember, if, if you're interested in this one, you're gonna wanna text EZRV to 32094. This one is starting at 954 a month. That's a wonderful price. Take advantage of it here on the show. As Mike and I said earlier, get your name on that list. Mike, what do you have back there, my friend? So Obviously, when we're going to be camping with the barbecue, we got a quick connect LP hookup right here so we can hook up the grill. You got your hot water heater right here. It's a 10 gallon quick recharge. So, the nice thing about that is when you take long showers, you can do that in this coach. Nice. So, on the outside of this coach, there's four different full body paint options. Okay. You know, when we finish this, you can kind of pan out. This has been our best seller, your best seller. Yep. No, this, like I said, this is beautiful. I love the colors on here. Uh, you know, nice smooth transitions on, on the colors. You don't get like, you know, a ton of ridges or anything on there. It's uh, gorgeous. Looks like you have awning toppers or uh, slide out toppers as well. Is, so that, is that a standard on here? Standard. And you know, that's the neat thing about this. There's a handful of options on this coach as far as, you know, an inside color, you get a light or a dark. Mm -hmm. And then on the outside, you got four different exteriors. You got a washer dryer stacked option if you want it. Dual panes and a mud flap. That's it. And, so. and you know, and so one of the things people don't realize uh, too when you're talking about options, and, and I always explain this to a lot of people, is that the more things you can have standard, the better it's going to be for the customer because when it comes to resale value, they're going to get the full value for that. If it's, you know, if they optioned in 30 different things, while it may have been perfect for them when they owned it, when they go to sell it, a lot of times you lose that value. So having more standards that you can have, the better it is for the customer. So that's, that's wonderful, Mike. Now, uh, one thing we, we didn't touch on right here, looks like we have the, the power awning, LED light there. That's a big campsite, that's a big awning you have. So the nice thing about this is also we talked about you know, the ability to, to control everything from the smartphone. So you know, we can take and, and roll the awning up from our Look smartphone, at that. turn the lights on and off. You know, we can get to our campsite, we can run our slide outs in and out with this. So you know, That way you can make sure you're not gonna hit anything and super convenient. Absolutely. Now, it looks like you have frameless windows on here too, Mike. Is that Standard. correct? Wow. Yeah. Now, and, and, I, and again, I like frameless. I mean, not mainly for me, it's because it looks nice, right? But also, uh, the fact it protects the seals a little bit better and because they kind of tilt open, you can have them open when it's raining a little bit, still get the airflow, not have a bunch of rainwater coming in. Yeah. You know, the other thing to note on the outside of this is we also run a fiberglass roof on this. Okay? Oh, really? So you're going to be a fiberglass roof, not a rubber or a, okay. or a plastic roof. Okay. Um, we're going to bolt two large 18 BTU equivalent air conditioners on the top of this coach wow. uh, with heat pumps. Wow. So the nice thing about it is it's going to cool this coach down as well. And, you know, the air conditioners we use are a little bit different than some of our competitors. So yeah. No, that's... that's they a... run quieter. They draw less amps and... Okay. We like to think they're the best. <laughs> well, that's again, that's one of those things, right, that you, know, you can see how beautiful it is on the, the inside, but when you talk about construction, you talk about having the fiberglass roof on there, the two ACs with a heat pump built in. Uh, you know, that, that's a big deal for me because sometimes, like I said, if you don't want to turn on the furnace, maybe it's just getting a little bit chilly, you can turn on both those heat pumps, kick on the fireplace, have the heated seats, and you know, you're just feeling uh, fairly toasty. You want, let me show you what powers both of those air conditioners on the other side of this. Yeah, coach. yeah, please do, Mike. So one of the things we pride ourselves on, this is also a new rear cap for us. So you're gonna see your backup camera up top. Yep. Okay, you got your LED marker lights at the top, and then you've got a third brake light up here. If you're towing something, you can see it over the car. We've got a 5,000 pound tow hitch with okay. a seven-way plug. Got your rear roof ladder on the back of this coach, and quite frankly, the styling on the back of this looks really good going down the road. It's, it gives you the diesel pusher feel, and, you know, for and, a gas price point. And I'm actually glad you said that, Mike, because that's kind of the whole feel I've gotten throughout the whole thing. I mean, from, you know, the beautiful paint to when you, you walk inside and you have the solid surface countertops, you have the residential refrigerator, you have, uh, you know, the, the auto gen set, you, the auto gen start. You have all these things that normally you find at the diesel pusher level in a gas coach, at a gas coach price point. So that is, that's fantastic you guys are able to do that. So each of these bays over here, First bay is going to be my park cable hookup. It's going to be my shore power cord. That's all going to go in this bay right here. Okay. 
easy access. Um, the next bay back is my wet bay. So this is my city tank fill, my fresh fill, my termination valves, an outside shower. There's also a couple, diff couple different means of tank heat on this coach. So let's say you're going okay. skiing or doing some cold weather camping. Yep. You're going to have forced air from your furnace, plus you're going to have the Arctic pack system. A lot of people okay. don't remember water beds, but you used to have an electronic <laughs> jacket or pad that would go on your water bed. Yep. Right? It works similar. There are heat pads that go on the tanks that, that radiate heat into the tanks okay. on this coach. Okay. Right here is your generator. You've got an Onan 7KW um, generator. So wow. Big boy. You got fuel fill right here, and we also put a lockable fuel fill on this. So. You know, I, it's it's again, it's one of those uh, the peace of mind thing. Now, you know, hopefully you're camping somewhere where you'd never have to worry about it, but you never know. I mean, so on the back side, you had mentioned some maintenance items, okay? Yes, yes, this please. Pass through storage here, okay, all the way through this coach. We're Man. actually going to store the ladders in here when we're new, all right? <laughs> but as you come to the front of this coach, there's a couple bays that I want to point out, and that is right here. I've got my hydraulic manifold. Okay. On this coach, we've also got hydraulic jack, so power down, power up. When we go to set up at our campsite or whatever, we can level the coach with the push of a button. Okay, we got a 24 and a half gallon LP bottle right here. Okay. And then above it is a little bay, and that's where you're gonna put your 2000 watt inverter. Oh, okay, right Straight up in the bay Straight over from there. your house battery. So you gotta have two house batteries on board, yep. and you're gonna have one chassis battery. Now, Mike, a couple other things I'm noticing. So one, you know, you talk about the hydraulic system. And again, when we talk about maintenance, as you said, the pump is right there. Mm -hmm. If you ever have any issues with the pump, you know, it's very accessible. You don't have to go crawling around trying to find anything. Um, so I do appreciate that. Another thing I've noticed, and again, sometimes for me, it's the small things, is this right here. Just something so that, you know, your door isn't just flying open. Um, you know, I just like that that's there. It just something to help kind of protect the coach a little bit. I like the fact that doors are side opening rather than top opening, so you're not competing with a slide. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen that before too, unfortunately, with some of the, uh, some of the class A's, they swing up and they catch it with the slide and it's just never a pretty thing. Um, and also when you're going down the road, if for whatever reason you forget to shut one of these, hopefully the wind will help keep it shut rather than, you know, blowing it open. So that's, uh, again, some of the, sometimes it's the small things for me. So on the 7 Series Georgetown, there's two different models out right now. Okay. okay you've got the bath and a half, which okay. gives you one and a half baths, king bed. Mm -hmm. The other model that we also have is the 36 K7. And okay. that's actually two full bathrooms, and it has bunk beds on board. Wow. So you talk about sleeping, you can really pile them into that coach as well. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's, you know, like I said, this one's a little bit built a little bit more for the couple. You have the one that's built for the family, so you have a couple different options there. Now, I know we mentioned earlier that you guys also have the GT3 and the GT5, both amazing products. Um, it, it, what kind of differentiates the, the 3 Series for me? Great question. So we start off with the GT3, and mm -hmm. the advantage to that is, is it's, it's a lower price point. Mm -hmm. But everything we build is going to be on big wheels and tires. So okay. um, some of the motorhomes, you, know, you start with your Class C, you got 16-inch wheels. Then you go to the 19 and a half inch and then you go all the way to the 22-inch, the 22 and a half inch wheels. So the nice yep. thing about this is, is all the GT3, GT5s, and GT7s are on the big wheels and tires. Wow. All right. It's price point and amenities. You okay. Know? And, um, you know, you got to start somewhere. And that's yeah, kind of absolutely. The, the, the GT3 gets you out camping, gets you in a motorhome. Well, and, and the thing about it is it's still, like you said, I mean, it's not like you're necessarily sacrificing on the construction, mm -hmm. on the build. I mean, it still is built on the big frame. You still have the 22 and a halfs. And, you know, you still get to say that you have a beautiful Georgetown Class A. You know, Georgetown is built by Forest River. You know, mm -hmm. Forest River is a, a Berkshire Hathaway owned company. Uh, we've got a production facility that's just a few years old and it's dedicated to gas class A motorhomes. So that's wonderful. Uh, GT3s are, are non painted units. Okay. GT5s are partial painted units. You can also get a full body paint on a, a GT5. Okay. And all your GT7s are full paint. So just like a car, you're yep. going to want to maintenance this and it'll look like this for a long time. Love it. Well, you guys. Again, this is the Georgetown 7 Series 36D.